Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. A while back, I bought a bunch of um, Theros Beyond Death stuff, and I ended up with this Deck Builder's Toolkit, which I'm going to open now. It has got uh, 100 basic land cards, uh, Deck Builder's Guide, 125 cards from recent sets, a re reusable card storage box, but more importantly, it's got four 15 card booster packs from recent sets. So, you know me, I'm all about that mystery. Got to see what's in those packs. What are they going to be? All uh, Guilds of Ravnica, maybe one War of the Spark. I imagine that's what it's going to be. So let's get into it and check it. Um, this is the kind of product you might find at Walmart or Target. And um, I mean, it's a good basic starter set for uh, a new player. Um, it's good to get new players into the game, right? Because then they buy more product. And they get into the Timmy boxes, and then Watsy makes a bunch of money for Hasbro, and bit bada boom, we're all hooked, right? So, got a little book here that tells you kind of how to do the game. The mana curve, got a little quick reference. Oh no, the bunny. Don't let that guy get the bunny. So, that's what that is. I do like these boxes, so here's my, uh, my feedback on the boxes from these kits. Um, they're slightly longer than a fat pack box, but I think they're not quite as wide. And um, the hinge is it's okay, but it's not like as firm of a, of a seal as a fat pack box, I think. Um, so it is what it is. Looks like we've got some dead packaging here. This literally does nothing. It's just a spacer. It um, could have been an, at least a full box, right? So like the fat pack boxes, you get a box like this that is small now, um, not with those cards in it, but uh, that can actually maybe be used to hold a deck or something, but that right there is complete waste, right? Uh, and here we've got some lands, some commons, We're, we'll open them up, maybe there's some surprises in there. And we got some packs, we got Theros Beyond Death, of course. Throne of Eldraine, sure, of course that 2020, War of the Spark. That's decent. I mean, it's only two other choices, really, because they got to be standard sets right now. And a Tree Shaker Chimera, and this is probably completely land, so we'll get into those and see how we do. And on the inside is nothing, right? So, just a sleeve. This box will end up going probably for a patron loot box, I'm guessing. Let's get organized here. Uh, let's see, you got the easy peel pack right there. Um, like the, the Pokemon energies are so common that I kind of wondered if, uh, they're not just basics. I wondered if the basic lands might be any slightly more rare than those. Um, let me know down below what you think about that. Got some common like um, gain one life lands when they come in tapped. Um, they are what they are, and some basics. Always love the art. So the chain is really, really cool. The uh, the underworld tether there, kind of nice. So I I feel like I, I don't know where else you would get the foil version of these, outside of the collector's booster boxes. That's the only place I've seen them like one per pack so that's what I'm kind of thinking maybe they're a little bit more rare and of course I'm probably wrong as usual that's that's my thing uh, here's a heraldic banner from Throne of Eldraine so this is like a mix these are not just um, they're also beyond death cards Got bronze sword Jousting just some artifacts right now you got some multicolored stuff from Eldraine Probable Alliance, a couple of those, right? So this, they're, you're well on your way to building a uh, um, uh, second card draw deck, right? Got, got a knight, and then more basic lands. Kind of a weird order there, I guess. Maybe they're color coordinated? No, not really. Because now we're into green with the uh, adventure frame here. Let's see if we'll get an edge wall innkeeper. Got a beanstalk giant, flax and intruder, 
Just a couple uncommons there. And a Surfer and the Hinge Hammer. So at least we get a legendary out of that pack. So just some commons and uncommons to kind of start building some stuff with. Here's a rare Tree Shaker Chimera. I don't expect much of anything big out of these pre made packs. Terra Mount Velas. I think these are exclusive to. Yeah, these are the exclusives for the. Uh, the Deck Builders Toolbox. And they can be in the Collector's Booster Box in the Ancillary, ancillary slot. I said it right. And uh, where else would you find those? I think that's it, right? So, um, oh, the uh, maybe the, the Theme Booster Packs, right? That's where those could come from as well. So, and those are somewhat rarish, even though they're not super desirable. But there they are. And more commons and uncommons. Mostly from Eldraine and uh, Theros. So for the flock and more basic lands. So we're going to be able to put our decks together here and actually play with our all our basic lands here. Now on the black cards, Order of Midnight, Falmar Knight. Those are decent cards. Gray Merchant for sure. You gotta have him. And more basic lands. Wanderer, Renata, Merchant of the Veil, sure. Some, some stuff that is, I don't know, available. <laughs> it's not super useful. You gotta get into the packs for the good stuff, right? What else do we have? More commons and uncommons? There we go. Rimrock Knight, so all reds. Claim the Firstborn. Annex, sure. That's pretty usable. Bake into a pie. More basic lands. So I'm not going to count them all up, but it looks like you got plenty of each there. Lots of commons and uncommons, so they're not giving you too many rares, just these ones here. Just the basics. A lot of Eldraine. There's a Daxo, so last pre-made pack here is this going to be just all land. Blossoming Sands and more basic lands. So you, this is definitely how you get plenty of basic lands, apparently. And tap lands and unknown shores. Everyone's favorite. Plains, plains, plains. More leaf pixie. Some uncommons. Grum Gully. All right. Got Steel Claw Lance. So these are kind of useful uncommons and back to basic lands all right well that's how these go all right well that's the main portion of the deck builders tool kit and then you get to have a little bit of mystery by opening actual packs so let's see what we get here We'll skip by these commons unless I see a gray merchant, but it doesn't look like it. Hero of the Nyxborn, Fairy's Band Brawler, Favorite of Iroas, and an Eidolon of Obstruction for the rare. And so now you get one of these in each pack. Okay, Throne of Eldraine. I already can't remember if there's any good commons. I don't think there really are. Claim the first one. I got a foil. Oak Came Ranger. Improbable Alliance again. So that's probably what I'll be building here. And a Clackbridge Troll. Big guy. And a Weaselback Red Cap. There we go. Alright. M20. M20. 
Temsis. Mind Rot. Let's see. Anything good common wise? Probably not. Grave Digger. Mask of Immolation. Wolf Rider Saddle. And a Planar Cleansing. Destroy those permanents. Nice full art zombie. And War of the Spark. Last chance. Get anything good out of this? Common, common, common. Common, common. Common, common. Mayhem Devil. Cyclops Electromancer. Lazotep Plating. Ooh, Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, is a rare Planeswalker. There we go. Pretty decent. All right, well, that's it for the Deck Builders Toolbox Toolkit. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to comment down below, like, and subscribe, and do all that YouTube stuff. And catch you on the next one.